Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Marco Tadros and today I am going to give you my review on the Form 1 Plus and the Form 2 from Form Labs and how are they advantageous for us in the dental field. Alright, we're going to start off with the Form 1 Plus and then we're going to move to the Form 2 and I'm going to mention some major improvements between the two generations. I've had the Form 1 Plus for about a year and a half, actually a little bit over a year and a half, and I've had great success with it. Uh, in fact, I have about 92% success rate with the Form 1 Plus and 98% success rate with, with the Form 2. Uh, the reason for the improvement in the success rate really lies in this area. The Form 2 has a heated bed which keeps the temperature of the resin at 30 degrees at all times during the print and the wiper here which actually cleans between every printed layer. It just wipes through and cleans the bottom of the tank. It also allows air to reach the silicone layer on the bottom of the tank and that really allows the detachment of the print from the silicone layer and keeps it attached to the build platform. Um, the Form 1 Plus does not have that feature. Another really neat feature in the Form 2 is the automatic dispensing resin tank which is in the back of the printer and uh, the printer here has a, um, it has a sensor that allows it to detect the level of the resin and if when needed it starts dispensing automatically during the print. One last big feature in the Form 2 is the fact that they included a touch screen which also is Wi-Fi enabled. So you can actually send information, you can send your print wirelessly to the Form 2 and just come here and press print and it will start the print job. You can also see the prints on the screen. Okay, now we're going to take a look at some of these prints and what can these two printers do for us in our day-to-day -day dental practice. Obviously you don't need both of them, I just have both of them here because like I said, the Form 1 Plus have had it for over a year and a half and Foam Labs sent me the Form 2 to test it. Thanks, by the way, to Foam Labs for doing this. I've had great results with the Form 2. Uh, I really, really, really love those two printers. Anyways, moving on with the prints here. So the major difference right now is that the Form 2 can print surgical guides directly. So what that means is you can see here these two surgical guides and that is the actual surgical guide. All you have to do is put the metal sleeves and then sterilize and then just put it in the patient mouth and do the guided surgery that way. Now, because the lack of medically graded surgical material for the Form 1 Plus, what you will need to do is, if you want to do this and you have the Form 1 Plus, is you print the model, as you can see right here, with posts. These posts are, in, are the exact same location of the implants and then you will pick up that position using a metal sleeve. So you put a metal sleeve and you put some triad and pick it up. And once you do that, you have a surgical guide for the placement of the implant. Now, other things that you can do with these two printers, for example, you can print the model. So you can scan with the Trios or any other intraoral scanner. You will be able to um, print the model like you see here. And you can also print separate dies as you see here and then I will actually put a link right here and this link will include uh, that a slide of this specific case so you can see the results and you see the accurate fit of the crown with the die. One more thing here is the digital wax ups. I'm really big about digital wax ups and I love it. So here's a patient that lost his premaxilla and what we ended up doing is I digitally waxed the case and then I took an impression of the, of the digital wax up and then we were able to make a custom um, interim prosthesis until we made the final porcelain prosthesis. So I will actually put a link up here as well for this slide so you can see the result of this case. Here's something really interesting. So the Form 1 and Form 2 both can do this. This was actually done on the Form 1 Plus. It took a long time, obviously, because it's a big print. However, this is really advantageous to oral surgeons. And the reason is, let's say an oral surgeon is going to do a mandibular resection for a patient that really needs it, then that will um, allow, the, the, allow the surgeon to go ahead and print the model before the surgery, pre-bend the um, titanium bars 
before the surgery. That way the surgery doesn't take as long. All right, this wraps our quick review here of the Form 1 Plus and the Form 2 3D SLA printers. And I will be posting more uh, 3D printing reviews of other printers soon. I will also be doing some more videos on digital smile design and digital dentistry. Uh, feel free to contact me if you have any questions. I'll leave my email down below in the description. And I hope you guys like this video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I will see you on another video.